Hey, Lucky Craft fans, Skeet Reese here. We're in the Lucky Craft Lounge, man. I got the black leather couch chilling out at the ICAST show. Actually making me work here, but we're talking about baits. Um, Lucky Craft baits, most of you know. We've got such an assortment of you know different size baits. Uh, the SKT Magnums, Giants. We got so many different crank baits for all different situations. But there is one situation that I've come across uh, when I'm on the water during tournament fishing that I've never had the right bait for. And it gets pretty frustrating when you see bass coming up and eating little tiny half inch shad, little booyah. You can't, and you're trying, you're, there's hardly any baits out there that mimic bait this big. And when they're keyed in on those shad or whatever the small fry that are small, they're hard to catch. Well, that's why I was like, let's just take the SKT, which is a proven great bait and make it tiny. It's a little tiny little thing. Look at it, it's so cute. Look at it, that's micro. Whoa. Make it bigger, little. So look at that, oh, big, little. Oh, MRDR, same deal. You know, if you're gonna fish six to 12 pound test, uh, you can throw it on a spinning rod or even a light casting rod. But now there's a little small crankbait that is gonna match when they're eating those little tiny shad you've got it covered right now. So tough fishing conditions when you're out there just grinding and you can't make anything happen. A lot of times downsizing is a way to get a bite. Uh, doesn't matter if you're fishing soft plastics, uh, top waters, but even your crankbaits. You need to get a bite. You need that one 12 inch fish just to fill out a limit, whatever. SKT tinies, they're gonna help you do that. Now, now you can catch good ones on this as well. Whenever they're keyed in on a little tiny shad, check that one out, SKT tinies.